Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dies, and today I've got a Brian Clutch X uh, strung up for a player at Georgetown as a favor. Um, I strung up a head for one of the guys there, and uh, a couple of his buddies really liked it, and so they wanted to, to grab some East Coast mesh. Uh, so cool to have more NCAA, NCAA players, uh, Division One players, with the uh, with the mesh in their hands. So um, uh, this is a Clutch X uh, dyed by the the player uh, dyed at navy, which turned out pretty good. I think it's a super light, uh, which sometimes super lights can take dye a little bit weird um, because the plastic's a little bit different. So I think that might have been uh, the problem with some of the coloring here is that it's a super light. So if you're dyeing a super light or a NAS or anything like that, uh, you know, remember to be careful because it won't take the dye quite as well. Uh, so when we were talking about what he wanted, um, he said that he'd always been um, a legit P34 guy. Um, but now, as you guys know, uh, U's are no longer in the equation, and that is a big part of the P34. And so he uh, he had been having trouble finding something that really worked for him. And uh, so he wanted me to string him up uh, kind of an NCAA legal version of the P34. And so uh, that is what I did. He got 15 millimeter white East Coast mesh. Uh, I did all white, so he just wanted to keep it really clean on the dyed head. I think he said if he sends a white head, uh, next time we'll get some some gray, maybe some navy in it. Um, so just a regular all white triangle top string, um, one barreled nylon, and then two barreled shooters. And um, I will run you guys down uh, how I strung the sidewall in a second. Uh, so what it is is uh, just a nice mid low pocket uh, with a nice tight channel. And uh, the bottom string is the type that uh, that bunches it all together, so the ball will be able to sit uh, down there nice and low. And so uh, I'll run you guys on the sidewall pattern really quick, and then talk about the pocket a little bit. Um, so it is top string on the second. So there's the first, the second, and the third hole. And then uh, it's kind of hard to tell what I did here. Yeah, there we go. So tie third so top string uses the second and the third put my sidewall through the third then uh, not skip not and then skip skip not then a two right here that skips two holes and then a one pulling that one all the way down here then a one a one and then a one and a one uh, so that's the sidewall for the Clutch X with 15 millimeter mesh and sort of a P34 replica. I looked at a lot of pictures of P34s to really get an idea of um, what they do with their sidewall pattern. And I read a couple things. And essentially the idea is to pull those top three diamonds down literally as tightly as they can go, if not a little bit more. It's really a pain to stretch them that far. And to have two tension points. So one here and the second tension point is uh, is down here to provide that uh, that deep low channel um, to give him a little extra hold. And he said he really likes when the ball uh, stays in one place, and he likes to feel it come off the shooters. So he likes these uh, the barreled shooters and a little bit more of a defined pocket. So uh, so that's what he got. Um, usually the P34 would be two barreled nylons, one and two, and then a five diamond and a three diamond barreled U. Obviously, it's not an option, and um, I tried to figure out a way to fit all four shooters in here somehow, but the only way I could have done that is to put uh, the nylon right in here, and then that would have been three shooters stacked on top of one another, uh, which doesn't make very much sense, so there was really uh, no reason to do that. And I found that this bottom shooter here, if you string a nine diamond top, um, that this third ten diamond row is really the lowest you can go with a shooter. Uh, so that's just a point of reference for you guys if you string a 9 diamond top. Uh, so overall, I think this pocket's going to work really well. Uh, it's going to have a nice smooth release and it's certainly a good solution. And uh, the East Coast mesh is perfect for the new rules and a lot of guys have found that in the NCAA because uh, it just adds that extra little bit of hold that you need uh, now that you can't have all those shooters. Uh, so anyway guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more string videos and tutorials. Uh, like this if you liked it and uh, have a great day.